Hello everybody. Uh, this is your walkthrough tutorial of the in-browser editing that I have set up for the site. Uh, now before we start, um, why do I have this and, and what is the purpose of it? Um, it is not really a content management system by the ways you would think of like it is a WordPress where you can create pages and create content. It's more of a content editor. Um, it's very lightweight, very quick, and it allows any of you to change any information you want without compromising the integrity of the design, meaning that you can't really mess anything up. It's You can only change words, images, and links. But either way, it's just a, uh, a good, quick way for you guys to, you know, change something minor that you don't have to give me a call and then wait for me to get to it. Um, it's something that, you know, you can quickly go in and make the change yourself and any changes made in the browser editor when I open up the file on my computer, the, it will let me know that something has changed and would you like me to sync those changes and then um, the file that I work on is automatically updated. So um, let's kind of dive in and see how this works. Uh, so I will provide you with the link and login information. Um, this first one up here, you want to make sure it's pointed at MagicalRealty.com. Um, and then you're going to log in with the FTP information that I provide, uh, which you will not be able to see here on the video, because um, I don't want anybody knowing our stuff. So <clears throat> what this does is it kind of takes you to um, the actual... Um, front end of the site and this is how you actually edit it so uh, if you see this little I don't know if it shows up on the video very well but there's a little gray dotted box around anything that can be edited so um, if it has a link if you kind of select it you'll see that the link pops up here you know um, you can make quick changes so let's go to a page with a bunch of links on it now um, you know, let's say that this is uh, not the link you want it to go to, or you're cruising the site and you realize that you know one of the one of the links goes to the wrong page or is broken. Um, you can easily change how it goes uh, without having to remember any URLs or anything like that. Just click, quick, uh, simply select the pencil, and it brings you up to this dialog box. Now there are a bunch of options. You can link to an external website. Uh, you can make an email to. A link, phone, or a downloadable file. Um, but I wouldn't worry about that. I would just mainly stick to the uh, page parameters here because what it does is it has every single page on the site listed in here. As you can see, it is a lengthy list. So uh, if you can't find what you're looking for, sometimes I'll type in the first two words. And uh, yep, Harborside Atlantis, that's where this should be going. Um, if I want to make a little tool tip here, you can, but whatever. Um, once you've done that, um, it has not updated the changes yet. Uh, this You'll see that this publish button up here turned blue. Um, it was originally gray. If it's gray, it means uh, you have not made any changes to anything uh, and you won't be able to do anything. So I can just hit publish. You get the little boxes here. And success, uh, your changes are now live. And you can navigate through the site and kind of uh, you know, go through and change any typos or anything like that. Um, you know, you can even add links to stuff that's not there. And then uh, you can actually change photos, but you can't change like these kinds of photos. I would have to set something up for the photos that, uh, if it was something where I wanted you to change a photo in and out. Um, that could be useful if you guys say you want to set something up on the home page where you want to feature certain listings. Um, on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be you guys doing it. I mean, I could set this up for something on myself if you wanted me to manage it, but uh, it's just a, something to think about as far as what you can do with this. Because like I said, it is limited, and it's really more a, of a tool to help me out, um, especially, you know, I am just one man, and, uh, you know, managing a 116-page website uh, there, there could be some typos, especially when it comes to me. We all are very much aware of that. Um, but, you know, this is uh, 
in place so you know if you do come across something that is wrong or you want to change and you don't want to have to depend on waiting on me to get to it um, and you can just quickly go in here yourself and do it and the nice thing is is that when you make a change on here uh, it will automatically notify it when I go to work on the site uh, in the file that uh, I am working with uh, it will say that changes have been made to the site and uh, it will automatically sync. So um, it's just kind of a cool little tool to, uh, you know, help uh, strengthen the quality of our brand, our site. And uh, I think it just kind of makes everybody's life a little easier. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's very, very simple. Uh, it's, you just kind of go through and visually make the changes. All right.